as we head into this afternoon, especially with that line of storms working its way through. So here's what it looks like with our time cast. We'll begin to see a few spotty showers developing between now and say 9 o'clock. But by 10 a.m. or so, we could begin to see a few isolated thunderstorms. And there could be some strong, potentially severe storms, uh, some isolated supercells, because this will be well out ahead of the uh, dry line here. So we'll have to watch these closely as we head toward midday. These will be small storms, but again, capable of uh, producing some severe weather. We'll have to watch those uh, spin ups with the uh, tornadoes uh, threat increasing around lunchtime uh, and as we head on into the afternoon. Now as that dry line gets closer along with the uh, cold front lagging behind, the storms get a little more organized for us as we head toward early afternoon. This is around 1 p.m. and those begin to march east across the uh, Metroplex with that damaging wind threat uh, associated with that uh, line of storms as it moves away from west to east and the embedded uh, brief spin up tornado as well along with that uh, uh, line of storms as it gets on into east Texas, especially late in the afternoon. This is around 5 p.m. Cold front begins to sweep across the uh, Metroplex. The strong severe thunderstorms begin to move east, but we will have that severe weather threat continuing in, in our eastern counties late this afternoon. And then by 7 p.m. that gets a little further into East Texas and things begin to settle down for us as we head toward 10 o'clock with all that moving well to our east and the drier air begins to move in. So this will be a fast moving system, but as it begins to uh, develop and work its way into the area, that severe weather threat again increasing late morning heading on into the early afternoon. So we do have that enhanced risk for severe storms today across uh, North Texas, so that is level three. We're looking at hail, the damaging winds, and yes, it looks like there could be a few tornadoes as well. So we'll have a way to get those watches and warnings that we will likely see a little bit later here this morning. So the main concerns will be the wind, the hail, the isolated tornado threat again in, in and around I-35 as we head toward midday today. Fast moving system, maybe an inch and a half of rain, some locally higher amounts, I think, in our northeastern counties as we head later into today as well on into tonight. So here's the weekend forecast. Once the storms move on out, we are looking at a pleasant week weekend. Upper 60s tomorrow. It will be cool out there. We'll have temperatures warming up, so not a bit cool down, and it won't last long. We'll be in the upper 70s there on Sunday. Now, as we head on into next week with that 10 day forecast for you, another round of showers, maybe Sunday night going into Monday. Election day looks nice, though, and then as we head down the road later next week, maybe another slight cool down and a few showers late next week as well.